Hey guys, what's up? It's Lainey and today I'm bringing you guys a tag video. This tag is the story idea writing tag. This tag was created by Brooke Passmore of By the Brook and Bethany Atazada. I'm linking their channels down below that you guys should definitely check out if you're looking for more writerly type of people to follow on YouTube. I thought this tag was super fun. I've seen other people do it and I really like the questions. Question number one is current story. What is your current story idea that you're working on right now? Welcome to my channel where I've been working on the same book for the past two years. Almost two years. I'm currently working on Sharp Hollows. If you guys have been a long time subscriber of my channel, you know this is the YA fantasy that is kind of the mummy meets Indiana Jones, the good mummy. I've been working on that for since November of 2016. I'm currently rewriting the whole thing from the beginning, which I started back in February. Almost done, I'm about, about 80,000 words, so I'm definitely gonna be wrapping this up within the next 20,000 words, so that is very exciting. I can't believe that I completely rewrote it. Since this has been a very huge process, I can do a video on knowing when to start over. If that is of interest of anybody, just let me know down below. Between that insanity, I've also written another book which is called Paraprise, which is a pirate fantasy that, I mean, I guess I would call Pirates of the Caribbean meets Kylo Ren, I guess? I mean, yeah, that's kind of what it is. That one I will get into editing after I finish editing Sharp Hollows. Question number two is, spark of inspiration, do your ideas begin with characters, plot, world building, or something else entirely? For me, every project is different. With Para Prides, it started with a scene. It was just a scene that I saw in my head and I'm like, well, that's my book. I grew everything out from that. For Sharp Hollows, I actually did talk about this in the work in progress tag that I did probably a year ago. That one started with me watching The Mummy, if you're familiar with the movie, and if you're not, you need to watch that. I was inspired by the Magi, specifically Ardith Bay, who is just like, <sighs> he is part of the Magi, which is this big organization group that protects Hamanatra from outsiders. I was basically just like thinking like, what do they do when they're not trying to protect the city? Like, where do they live? What kind of families do they have? And stuff like that. And like, that was inspiration for Sharp Hollows was that, even though I feel like it's gone very far distantly from that initial kernel. But, I mean, that just shows like how different things go once you start thinking of your own things. That was like the whole jumping off point to Sharp Hollows was wondering what the Magi do in their spare time. Question number three is brainstorm. How do you puzzle piece your story elements together? Do you start with the ending and make your way to the beginning or vice versa? Brainstorming, I definitely have to word vomit. The overall arc of how I feel the story is playing out in my head. And then once I do that, then I expand it and I start outlining. When it comes to writing, I do write chronologically. I can't, I, I can't do it any other way. I have to go through the entire steps of the a character's emotional journey. I can't skip around or else I feel like it gets disjointed. Question number four is keep or toss. How do you know when you want to keep or dump a story idea? I don't think I've ever truly dumped a story idea. I have all my ideas written down somewhere in like a notebook, in my computer. I never toss away anything because anything can be of use. Question number five is original idea. How much of your original idea for your story is actually used once everything is finished? Well I just kind of talked about what happened with Sharp Hollows and my initial inspiration from the mummy. Th that's just kind of one example but when it comes to like pair of prides with my pirate, my witch pirate, Pirate story was what I originally was calling it before I titled it. That's pretty accurate. Bear in mind it's just the first draft so I'm sure a lot of things are going to change but from what I originally thought of the story and outlining it it's pretty much similar to what I originally envisioned for the story. That didn't really answer either of the questions because it's kind of I'm both. Question number six is hide or share. Do you share your book ideas with friends or keep them a secret. My critique partner, Amanda, I've mentioned her a lot of times here on my channel, pretty much share all my ideas with her and vice versa with her. That's just the type of uh, critique partner relationship that she and I have. There's definitely ideas that I've told her that I'm like, hey, I have like this idea for a story. I've kind of talked about maybe the next project I'm working on with her. She's the one that I would like go to to share with any of the ideas just because we're like-minded with creativity and writing. When it comes to like family or friends, I never tell them anything, especially my family. Like my family has like no idea what's going on with what I write. They just know I write young adult and fantasy. With Sharp Hollows, I did tell them that it was kind of like the mummy because that's something that they know. Question number seven is dream. Have any of your book ideas originated with a dream or a nightmare? I don't know. I mean, I don't think so. None of like my current ideas that I'm thinking of, like even the Red Riding Hood story, I think that was not a dream. Sharp Hollows was in a dream. Even my political thriller that I was working on last year, that was in a dream. 
a pair of prides was not a dream either. I don't think I've like waken up from a dream and been like, oh, that's my next story. Never had that happen to me. Question number eight is doppelganger. Have you ever had an idea for a story but then seen a similar premise in book, TV, or movies? I mean, yeah, no idea is original. It's just how you write it makes it original. I do have some examples. One of them is I tend to like give subtle nods to some of my favorite movies, television shows, books in my writing. It's like super diluted where only I feel like if I point it out, maybe people wouldn't know. Like in Pair of Prides, there's a there's a very subtle Buffy reference in Pair of Prides and like I refuse to ever change that. I don't know. And that show very much inspired me to write my own story so that's just like a little like hey. <laughs> also with Pair of Prides and this one was unintentional so I am very late with like the Star Wars, the new trilogy game. It took me a while to watch A Force Awakens. I just recently watched The Last Jedi in May. With that being said, back in January my critique partner was reading the first draft of Pair of Prides. She was mentioning how she, one of my male character reminded her very much of Kylo Ren and then the relationship that he starts to develop with one of the main girl characters she's like this is totally like what Kylo Ren and Rey were having in The Last Jedi but I hadn't seen it so I didn't like I didn't know the reference I've seen The Force Awakens so I'm like yeah I guess this main character he's kind of like Kylo Ren he's kind of moody and and self-loathing and etc etc. Fast forward to May I'm on the plane headed to Santa Monica and I decide to watch The Last Jedi. Um all of those like mind scenes whatever there's sexual tension with like being in each other's minds that yeah that's very similar to what I wrote in Pair of Prides. So there's that. Question number nine is big screen inspiration. Have any of your favorite movies TV shows sparked ideas for scenes in your book? Oh I, I guess I just answered that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's mostly just like nods to some of my favorite things just because I mean I'm inspired so much by the things that I consume so of course I want to kind of give shout outs to those stories that inspired me. Sharp Hollows is I mean my comp title is The Mummy and it's very much an adventure story. It follows a group of people trying to find something that has never been found before. That's the mummy. Except there's no mummy. I, I will say there's no mummy in my book but it's just like the whole atmosphere is inspired by the mummy definitely. The last question is nostalgia. What's the oldest first story idea you remember coming up with and writing down? So I would say I didn't start trying to write my own story until I was in college. Prior to that I wrote a lot on online forms. When it came to my own like story uh, the first story <laughs> is just like so embarrassing. I actually have a blog post and I've kind of fallen off the wagon with my blog but I'll link it down below. I, I did like do a chronological of like my all my big story ideas that I've had and committed to. I put the in my in a blog post and gave examples to kind of show the evolution of my writing because it was just like really bad in the beginning. The first book that I really wanted to write was a very cliche YA paranormal romance. It had a lot to do with reincarnation and soulmates. <sighs> this is like so embarrassing. <laughs> I ticked off like literally every kind of YA paranormal trope is definitely in there. I don't even have the manuscript anymore. I don't even know where it went on what computer it could be possibly on. I just have like no idea. But that was like the first one I like really tried to get down. I would never revisit that or try to make it better because that is just like it was just not good. You gotta get the first one out of the way to make way for the better ones. That is it for this story ideas writing tag. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Lainey. I make videos every Monday and Friday on books and writing and I hope you guys all have a really great day. Bye!